Hello guys, uh, welcome to another new set of uh, tutorial series. In the uh, last few tutorial series, we saw like uh, basic concepts uh, in Python, loading big data into Python and conditioning the data, shaping the data and machine learning. Uh, just, a, just a concept, I mean, just one of the methods in machine learning, perceptron, uh, ML algorithm class classification, we saw that one and then uh, SQLite, uh, 3 and Python 2.7. So now in this uh, new set of tutorial series, we're going to discuss about uh, Matplotlib, mostly data visualization. Uh, uh, let's get started. So we'll be seeing like uh, uh, line charts, uh, scatter plots, uh, bar chart, you know, pie charts, can candle charts, all those things we'll be seeing one by one. So how to like uh, plot them in uh, uh, Python using Matplotlib library, and after that we'll be moving further into like uh, data analysis, like I promised in the first uh, video tutorial series. So, so yeah, we'll be making transitions slowly into data analysis by learning all the basics that are necessary to do proper data analysis. So let's uh, get started in uh, <laughs> doing um, data visualization using Matplotlib in Python 2.7. So in this, uh, for this tutorial series, I think you'll be needing this uh, matplotlib uh, library pip install matplotlib. So I already have that one. If not, it will install for you. So once you're done installing, uh, we are good to start. And go and import uh, the one that we have installed. Import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot as pl. So first, let's do some basic uh, graphing, extra graphing. Values equals uh, one comma five comma eight comma nine comma two comma. 0, 0, 0,3, 10, 4, 7. And then plt dot plot. So here you have to give x and y values. In x value will be giving range from uh, 1 to 11. So it will uh, give us values from 1 to 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. And then uh, this will be a x value, the range 1, 11. And a y value, y value will be values, comma. This one, you could name it as anything you want. So uh, x and y values are fed to the plot function. So now we have to show the plot. plt dot show. So we are gonna like uh, visualize our first uh, graph in this tutorial series. So save this, press F5, and it has just plotted it for you. How beautiful it is! Look at it. How beautiful. So it started from one, which is over here. And corresponding one from here, and then it kept going on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. <laughs> okay, so let's do some multiple plotting here. Let's uh, close this one, and maybe we call it by x, y, one. Then let uh, y to be three comma eight comma nine comma two comma one comma two comma four comma seven comma six comma six. Save this. So you have to write uh, plot function with the values of x and y two times. So that's how you're going to plot both the graphs, a single graph, I mean 
plot both the data and signal back. Uh, so this will be y2. Save F files for what's the we left. Save F file. So this is actually a second plot. So we could also give labels and all those things which will be seen in a uh, future tutorials. So, so and then now watch uh, what we're going to do is like we're going to like save this graph. So you could hit this button and save the figure, the location of your choice. If not, then uh, you could store the graph by adding a piece of line of code in the format of your choice and in the location of your choice and the name of your choice. So let's see how to do it. So there is this function called plt save fig and then you now you have to specify the name and call it my graph and then the format PNG. It also supports uh, photo script format PS, uh, PDF format, uh, scalable vector graphics format SVG, and encapsulated post script format. So now we are going to save it as a PNG format and then uh, we have to specify the format. That's a name. So along with the name, you could give the location if you want. Uh, format equals so png close this save press f5 so it's printed so it must have saved somewhere uh, oh my God. so my graph so it has saved in the same location as my code so actually my code i've saved my code in this location Oh, wait, let me get rid of this one. Okay. Okay. I should have closed this first instead of closing this shell. Okay, so the e in my e drive, me playing with data folder, YouTube uh, tutorial, matplotlib tutorial. So this is the folder name. So it's actually saved in that folder. My graph. Oh, this is mine. Okay. So another my sample plot. Okay, I think that's my previous tutorial. So in, uh, maybe let's also see. Um, okay, in the next tutorial we'll be seeing how to setting the grids, uh, label, legends, and all those things that are necessary. So we'll be seeing the complete like package of uh, uh, matplotlib, like sort of. Uh, we try to cover almost everything. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any doubts, then uh, comment below. If not, like and subscribe the video. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. For